Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding web notification in Odoo. So what I'm going to do is that right now in the screen, you can see I have logged in the database as Mitchell admin and I have already installed a module that is hospital module in this database. So this is the fresh database I have created today. And if I go to the hospital and then to the appointments, and I will just switch to the tree view and I will just open any of the record here. So here you can see I have added a new button in the header named notify. So on clicking this notify what we are going to do is that we have to notify the doctor. So if I go to the doctor's master. So here I will just open the doctor records in another tab. So you can see it's loading. So inside the doctor we have got a field called related user. So on clicking this notify button what we have to do is that we have to send a notification to the related user of the doctor. So let's see how we can do that. So suppose if I just click on edit button and I will assign the doctor Matthew and for the doctor Matthew I will just assign a user like mark demo which is our demo user so on clicking the notify button we have to show a pop-up message for the user demo user so let's see how we can do that so for that purpose i'll just use a custom module or community module available in the Odoo app store which is contributed by the oca so if i go to the pycharm and here you can see i have cloned the oca web repository and if i expand and if i scroll down you can see there is a module called web notify so i will use this module as a base module for this purpose and using this i will show the web notification so let's see how we can do that so for that purpose if i go to the custom folder where we have our module that is om hospital so here we have got our module and if i go to the appointments view.xml file so i'll just open views folder here i've got appointment.xml file so here you can see i have added a new button called action notify which is of type object string is given as notify oe highlight states draft is given and i have defined the corresponding function that is action notify so i'll go to the models folder and i'll just open appointment.py so here you can see this is the corresponding function we will use so what we are going to do is that on clicking this button we have to notify the another user in the system so before going into the development we can just open uh, the mark demo user here inside the window so i'll just open 8012 so let's open another user here so here, here you can see i have opened mark demo so right now here in these screens we have got mitchell admin and in the screen we have opened mark demo so on clicking the notify button we will generate a pop-up in the screen of the mark demo user so for that purpose what i have to do is that inside the corresponding function so i have defined the function that is diff action notify and i have iterated self over the for loop to remove the singleton error so i have to send a notification so self.env not self.env so first of all i have to get the patient doctor record so if i go to the appointments for you here if you have got the doctor field so let's activate the debug mode to get the field name of the doctor so suppose my field name of the doctor is doctor underscore id so i'll just get it as rec dot doctor id then i have to get the user id inside the doctor field so i'll go to the doctor model and here we have got the related user so we have to notify this user so i have to get this field name that is user underscore id so i'll just add user underscore id here then i have to notify so for notifying the user i have to use the function notify danger or something like that i will use notify danger appointment so i'll just use this so right now what i have done inside the function I have taken the corresponding user record that is rec dot doctor id dot user id notify danger so i'll just explain the use of this so let's see first we will see how it is working so i have just added a line of code here that is rec dot doctor id dot user id dot notify danger appointment so that's done so now we will go to the ui and i'll just click on this notify button and if i go to this screen nothing has been generated i was expecting to generate a pop-up here but it has been yeah you can see it's getting so right now you can see a pop-up has been coming like danger so let's click once more notify and 
you can see it has been shown here in the corresponding user screen so you can see it's not shown in for any other user so right now if you click on there is no pop-up for the Mitchell admin but it's only for the mark demo user so like that with a single line of code you can just notify any user so if I go to the corresponding module that is web notify module so I'll just close this and I'll go to the OCA web repository and if I open the web notify module let's go through the readme.rst file so that you will get a default many hints regarding this module so here you can see you have got different usage in the usage section to send a notification to the user you just need to call one of these new methods defined on rust.users so you can either use notify success and message equal to you have to pass the message or you can use notify danger notify warning so difference with these functions are notify success will be coming in the green color notify danger will be in red color as we have seen now and notify warning i think it will be in yellow color so let's use this and see so i'll just copy this message control c and i'll put it inside the appointment.py file so i'll just paste it here so earlier we have used notify danger but right now i have changed it to notify success so as we have made changes inside the python we have to restart the service so the service has been restarted now i'll go to the this is mark demo here we will be notified so i'll go to the mitchell admin and i'll just click on notify button so if we come here there is a delay i think not sure why so it's a reload the screen and see so here you can see the success message has been come so if i click on click again that is on notify and if i come here you can see success my success message and if you need to change this label you can just change it here appointment is confirmed like that you can give so i'll just give the appointment is confirmed like that i will just update the string so there is a spelling mistake i'll just correct it appointment confirmed so i have just updated the message string and i'll just restart the service and i will go to the mitchell admin and i'll just click on notify button and here you can see if i reload the screen actually there is no reload screen i don't know why it's not coming here right now so here you can see you will get a notification instant notification so if i just click on notify it will be sending instant notification to the user so if i go to the readme.rst file of the corresponding module you can see the usage notify danger is there and right now notify notify success is coming in a green color and notifying danger is coming in a red color so for the success message like appointment create like that you can use uh, notify success and for a danger like a warning messages you can use these notify danger and let's try notify warning so appointment.py i'll just change notify success to notify warning so let's see the its use so i'll come here and i'll just click on notify button so if i reload the screen notify warning you can see it's coming in a yellow color as well as with the label warning so if i click on notify again in the top of the screen you can see warning label and it's in a yellow color so if i go to the readme.rst file we have got another one that is notify info and you have got notify default i think you can just test it out so along with this module if i go to the views folder you can see inside the rust users they have added a demo that is if i go to Mitchell admin uh, and I will go to the settings and then to the users form view so if I go to the users form view here you can see as part of demo data they have added a new tab that is test web notify suppose if I need to notify or test the functionality just take mark demo here and in the test web notify you can see you have got the five options that is text test success notification test warning notification test default notification danger notification and info notification so let's click on test success notification i have clicked there here you can see the success notification has been received so if i click on warning notification you can see it's coming in yellow color with the warning label so if i click on default notification you can see as it's by default audio notification is coming here and if you need to generate a danger notification click on there you can see it's coming in red color with a label as danger and finally we have got test info notification so let's click on this button and see how it's work so I'll just click on here so if I go here you can see it's coming in a light blue color so the demo for you to test this you can just go to the 
Odoo App Store or OCA Shop or from the OCA GitHub. You can just download this module that is Web Notify. So just download this module, add it to your custom add-ons path, and you have to give. So as we have used this module inside our module I have to give this as a dependent module so I'll just copy its name and I have to specify this inside the OM hospital module so I'll go to the custom folder and I'll just take OM hospital module and inside the OM hospitals module in the manifest file I'll just give it as a dependent module so here you can see I have already given so you have to give it as a dependent module depend depends inside the manifest file then you can just use it like this that is self dot so right now for getting user record I have just given us rec dot doctor id dot user id so if you have rest dot users object you can just call dot notify warning and inside the message parameter you can pass the message that you have to display in the ui so if i go to the readme dot rst file you will get a clear info so here you can see they have explained correctly and how to use it so that's all about this video just download the module from the Odoo store or OCA shop or OCA GitHub repository. I think the module is available in different versions. So it will be helpful for you. So if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos. Thank you.